Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful, beautiful world? <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna no, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a beer uh, from Boulevard Brewing Company out of um, th they are out of yes they, I know it. Stop. <laughs> Uh, they're out of Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> they're out of Kansas City, Missouri. All right, so uh, this one is the Kvike, 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 however you want to say it, IPA. And it's a 9 percenter. It's, uh, I've had three of them already, uh, and they're, they're, well, not already tonight, but in the past. I bought a four pack and this was the last one left and it was in my fridge for a while so I wanted to get it done. But it was it's very tasty and we're gonna find out what it's all about. But check it out. That's it. Fike Kvike IPA. Kvike. It's like a KW. How they Kvike Kvike Fuck Kvak IPA. See that? Alright, so uh and they say skull. Skull, which is like pretty much cheers in the what Norwegian uh, Norwegian language or however it's done, served in a sixteen one pint can, and uh, this one in particular does not have a date, but the others go about a month back. So nine percent. Let's do it. Let's drink it. Serving it in my snafta. Because it's a 9% double. And I'm going to see just how much different the flavors. It might have even gone up to like a 9.2 already, if all we know. <clears throat> With the uh, alcohol still there. There we go. There we go. All right. Right into the nose right away. Poured uh, real quick. Poured about almost a finger head. Did do aggressive. It is a higher percentage, folks. Oh, yes. Orange, orange, orange. Let me, uh, hold on. Orange and, like, lemon mix or something. There's an orange lemon mix, possible grapefruit. So there's three components that are typically, usually, as far as the citrus side goes, usually in an IPA. Um, the uh, I mean, it does depend on the hops you're using and stuff like that. Uh, the yeast you're using can impact a flavor as well. The malt you're using can impact a flavor. Um, <clears throat> there is kind of a candied smell to it, a sweetness. Orange is kind of the dominant one, I think, I want to say. Bready, there's a slight bready white bread kind of thing coming out. Going into this, oh, some of it got in my nose. Yeah, the bready, there's kind of like a, I almost want to say like a French bread or something. Um... So, a good, nice, uh, legage thing going on there. It's not really lacing so much. I mean, kinda. Yeah, it's lacing a little bit. It's a, I would have to say it's orange looking, but it's definitely an amber-colored hazy beer. And it looks great. I mean, you can kind of see shadows through it. So... It's not super ultra fragilistic expiadocious hazy, but it's like there and you, you it's definitely hazy. So um there is a medium low kind of carbonation going on there. And very nice. So kind of just very orange looking. Let's get into the drink. Cheers. Kind of looks like peach. Peaches or something too. There is kind of a peach melon thing going on. Alright, so cheers. Mm. A little on the boozy, but but over that, it also has a nice, like, orange grapefruit mix. Has a yeasty side to it. Not super ultra bitter. It's kind of more like a uh, New England style, kind of, in a way. It's not super bitter. It's more sweet, 
multi sweet caramels kind of come out through the through the center of the citrus. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Look at that hair. Okay. <laughs> as far as mouth or carbonation, let's say first. It's kind of a subtle carbonation, it's not super hardcore. Yeah, low, low carbonation, low medium, pushy medium. Body is definitely like a medium body. Has a slight dryness in the back, right through the center of the tongue, it starts to dry off. And then the sweetness kind of goes into somewhat of a mucus buildup in the back. Kind of like that of a sour, the lactic acid kind of feel. It doesn't have lactic acid, it's not sour, but it has that feeling. Goes down kind of uh, mucusy and, and thick but uh, goes through the mouth with flavor and, and uh, strength. That low, low medium carbon, medium low carbonation, orange, tan, or uh, nectarines, nectarines come through, orange, uh, a slight, a very light wet caramel kind of thing comes through underneath it from the malts, this, that. Um, there is a yeasty kind of thickness in there, like a yeasty wookness, uh, let's say, not thickness, <laughs> wookness. Drinkable? Fuck yeah. It's freaking delicious, and it will mess you up. This beer is going to mess me up a little bit. Like, it, all, every one I had, the alcohol, like I said, I started out saying it was kind of alcoholic, it does kind of, as it warms up, it gets a little more. You start to feel it. But it's not burning. It feels more like a hop resinous kind of burn. Um, like that, uh, as you break the cone thing open thing. Um, but overall, not bad. I mean, it hasn't lost any flavors over the month. It's, it's doing quite well in the can. Very good job. Very good job, Boulevard. You guys did like righteously good on this one. Out of uh, ten, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this. Man, I've been sipping on this, so I really like this. I'm gonna give this like an a, for for what it is. I'm gonna give it a nine point eight. I think it's delicious. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. It's strong. Don't get me wrong. It is a, it is a snifter, uh, ten ounce drink, glass kind of like pourer. You know, but I mean, or whatever it is, I guess 10, 10, this would be probably a 12 or something, but not bad. You guys need to look this up if you haven't on it already. Very good by Boulevard. These guys put out some like dank ass beers a lot of times. I haven't had anything bad from them. You guys have a good night, Dave. We're wherever you're from in this world. Uh, and all right, uh, I'm, I'm not after one more sip though. Please. And cheers. Cheers to you. A little bit of a... Uh, oh, there's a... I gotta say this. I gotta add this. There is a little bit of a jello shooter. Orange jello shooter. Alcohol, vodka kind of kicking it. Yeah. All right. Cheers. <laughs>